everyone, Larry Chen here. We are at the LZ World Tour Mondello Park Ireland stop and I'm gonna walk around. I'm just going to talk about the cars that I like in the car show and in the paddock. They sure love their S chassis here. There's so many S chassis here. A lot of nice builds, including this um, Boss S14. I love this. The engine bay, super clean. Love the tartan on um, this little uh, engine bay cover. I can imagine this is pretty uh, rare of a sight here in Ireland, but uh, the swap is pretty neat. Got a big old BMW engine in here. Love that. Love the patina. Looks super cool. Park next to it is this awesome chaser. These, of course, have been growing on me. And uh, they love their chasers here in Ireland. There's so many nice chaser builds. This is a cool little starlet, too. Cool starlet. What is this? I do uh, valeting. Oh, cool. Dacia Valentine, so yeah. it's Waterford. So that's where all, that's where all these are from, Waterford. So awesome. This is a friend of mine. It's actually not mine. Oh, okay. I just detailed it. It has a full uh, Glanza V running gear. Oh. The front bumper is off. Uh, it's a good line twin cam front bumper. It's cut to fit the car. Oh, cool. And then it has it. I'll get out you can think. Yeah. So it's an 86 bumper. Yeah. Grand's a turbo engine. Oh, cool. That's it's a, awesome. It's an 86. Very cool. Built not bought. Love yes, that. 100%. Five year project. Of course, gotta stop and look at the 240Z. This is the second one I've seen here in Ireland, and this one is really clean. Nice build. Nice watts on it. Love it. They look great in red. And of course, it's parked next to this uh, R32, which also looks really good in red. I really wish we got the GR Yaris in the States. This is something I would drive every single day. It's just so cool. So much lighter weight compared to the Corolla. But the Corolla's not so bad either. <laughs> this is really cool. I love this Clio V6 Renault. This is one of those cars that you learn about in the US from playing Gran Turismo because uh, obviously we never got these. But this is so cool. Rear engine. Awesome. Really good example of one too. It looks pretty standard. <laughs> Alright, so what are we looking at here? Uh, 1.3 liter of Fury. It's a 1995 Toyota style of GT Advance. They are very rare. They were made in 1994, December to like halfway through 1995. So they're, they're, they've gone extremely rare. Um, you just don't get them anymore. They're in a two tone. Is this a Japanese delivery car? Oh, yeah, this is a Jap only. They came with um, a steering wheel, a gear knob. Came with a couple little cool little option lectures, but they're super rare. And That's then so uh, we cool. just went completely over the top. I love it. How much power is it making? 372 horsepower for 1.3. 372 horsepower. I love these so much. I had a chance to drive one Body in. Ones. Yeah, I had a chance to drive one um, that had about 250 horsepower. This has got to be. This insane. one's actually turned down. It pulled 412 on the dyno. I was kind of pulling off the dyno, so uh, yeah. And it uh, made 350 foot pounds of torque as well. So Amazing. It's, it's pretty crazy for a little 1.3. I love this. This is one of the cars that I love here. So then there's there's a really rare option in this car. So basically the picture of the starlet pops up in the middle and it shows you your direction and how long your journey has been. We're the only ones right now that we think we have this. Like 
This pretty much has everything. Does it work? Yeah, it does. I just have to grab the keys off my dad. But then how does it know where to tell you to go? It has it built in. You can select your mode, your day, and you can set the little lights to turn on the little like LED backlit lights and stuff. And it knows how long you've been on your journey and stuff. What the heck? Oh, 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 it's more of like the direction. It's more of like a navigational device. It isn't like what we have like in Google Maps. Like you put in like, I want to go to Dublin or something. It'll tell you where to go. But it tells you like how long your journey is. and Yeah, like how long you're... you've been going this yeah, certain like direction. Yeah, like as soon as you put the key to turn on, it tells you that you've started your journey. Right. Really cool. And then we've That got... way it's easier to read a map. Oh, well, one, oh, 100%. So say if you had your map out, then you have your map torch, which is also an optional extra to read your map. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. is so cool. It actually says Toyota on it. Yeah, Toyota, a little, a little map. Yeah, but that the crazy thing is it actually says Toyota on that. Oh yeah, yeah. It's oh. it's it's genuine. That is amazing. Yeah, uh, we've got like literally every option extra. The air purifier. And then we've got the air fantasy which is inside in the interior. This is a vanity tray which is like optional extra like sound, like surround sound system from back in 1995. Oh <laughs> there's an air what does it do? It's a air. It's like an air purifier, so like it cleans the air inside, in in the car. Talk about ahead of its time, this thing. Actual video. Ridiculous. There's even a little remote for the radio. Is it? Amazing. I love it. GT Advance. Right there, if you want to follow him on Instagram. Looks like they have two R34s here with. Quite a bit of Z Tune goodies. As always, they look incredible. I thought this was a joke at first when I saw these on the escorts, but <laughs> this actually is a Mexico model. Like, that's how it comes stock. And there's even a badge on the back. I saw another one of these, but it's just so hilarious to me. Look, it says Mexico on it. So interesting. This is super cool. We actually followed this into the venue today, and um, I could tell right away it had a V8, but of course, they popped the hood at the show, and now I can see that it actually has a 1UZ. I love this. Just all function. What a cool car. They just love their Corollas here. They're absolutely Toyota crazy. So many incredible Toyotas here. This whole row is just cool Toyotas. Let's just check them out real quick. Bunch of bunch of 86s. So many 86s. Everyone's special in its own way. So cool. Love that. This one's super clean too. Look at this. Love the livery. This is something that I've seen in Australia. And actually the one that I saw in Australia was turbo. This is so clean. The paint is like glass. Pulsar. This is such a nice build. Very clean inside and out. Engine bay, incredible. Look at those ITBs. What a nice build. I love the way these look. We never got these in the US. Love this swap on this S13. Very clean. Looks functional. There's just so many nice S chassis builds. So essentially what I'm doing right now is I'm just walking around the paddock, I'm walking around the car show, and I'm just taking you guys along as I'm experiencing these cars for the first time. Part of it is, look, it's James. Hey. James in the back of a rocket buddy. No, I'm good, I'm good. 
Just wanted to yell at him. But uh, I, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm experiencing because the problem is there's too many good cars here. And I can't feature them all, but at least I can kind of highlight what's here and show you guys a good snapshot of what Irish car culture is about. The overarching theme for me, from what I can tell, is a lot of built cars on a budget. So it's all built, not bought. And, you know, that's what I like about car culture. You, if you don't have the biggest budget, you can still have a nice build. This is super cool. I love this. This thing sits so nice. Incredible. Crown. Tyler is you stoked on this crown. About? He I walked this. by this and I literally said, like, I just lost my mind. Like, yeah. I, could, I was at a loss for words. It's so good. This is probably one of my favorite cars out here, to be honest with you. This is beautiful, yeah. This is a great... Man. What a cool... Fly cool car. Absolutely. I love it. <laughs> Toyota Carina GTR. <laughs> GDI. Amazing. This is really cool though. Oh, oh my so god, good. look, I love that sticker. No, <laughs> I've never seen that. Mr. Sparkle. That's great. So cool. Love this golf so much. So cool. Color's awesome. Fitment's on point. Really nice build. Of course, it's sitting next to this insane Kevlar S15. Very cool. This is pretty cool. Turbo K series swap on uh, S15. Looks good. Looks great in black. Man, the interior on this BMW. Ridiculous. Love it. I know this is a pretty famous car. This is the Sultan's Porsche drift car. Unfortunately, it's broken. I'm gonna try to do a full feature on it. But right now, it's just sitting here in the car show. Um, I know this is a famous car. I know it's been featured many times, but how cool is that? Old school Honda motorcycle. This thing is just ridiculous looking. Okay. The color is great too. I like both of these. Uh, the Yaris obviously looks incredible. Really, really cool livery. Uh, and of course, the Liberty Walk S15 silhouette. It actually looks really nice without a livery. This is done so well. It's so clean. Just the way it fits, the way it sits. Beautiful. Just. Very, very tasteful. Look at that front lip, though. I love these two so much. So we never got this uh, Focus RS. The Focus that we got in the US was really bad. It was terrible. But hot hatch, super cool. Um, this Escort is awesome too. Love the wheels so much. What a cool car. So, so cool. No, you did. Cosworth. Beautiful car. Beautiful. Oh, sorry. Amazing. Another one of my favorite cars. AutoZam AZ1. Love the doors. So, so neat. <laughs> 
I just think they look really, really neat. I don't think I've ever seen one in red. Usually they're in white or blue. Looks good with the tees on it. Of course, it started raining again. I just broke for lunch and now we're back out. I'm just gonna kind of walk around and see what other cars that I like. But uh, they have last chance uh, battles happening right now. So the good thing is it's mostly empty in terms of like the crowd, everybody's watching drifting. So now I can check out the cars. What is this? This is a Toyota. Look what we got down here. It looks like we have Glanza. Benny Edmonds and a Jason Never Ferrand. heard of it. Jason Ferrand all the way from Australia driving a borrowed car. It looks from turbo. Looks like it has a turbo. It has some kind of ARC something or other. What the hell is this? This is pretty cool. Opal. Never seen this before. I love this. Peugeot. This is so cool. I like this a lot. I would drive this. Man, there's so many Evos here. They love their Evos. This is neat. Wheels are really nice. Nissan Sunny. I've never seen one of these with a bed this clean. Like, the bed is as clean as the rest of the car. This is very, very clean. This guy loves his car. So much that he got a carpet made. That's awesome. This uh, JPS livery just pull second. <laughs> There's some nice Hondas here. <laughs> it just sits right. The the livery is good. Oh, it even has a has a full size spare. Hmm? Oh wait, no. I'm guessing that's a spare. Maybe they had a blowout or something. These are so cool. Conjo style. I don't have a Honda yet, but maybe one day. I love the just pull second. That JPS. Was really, that was one of my friend's idea. I actually so did cool. the stickers myself. Oh, so that's it where I work good. at. And it's the John Clare special. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't want to put John Clare special in my car. I know, I know, I know. Little twist. Yeah. And I was like, what will we put? And one just of the guys said, second. just pull second. I was like, that's it. I love that. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, just pull second. I was admiring it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. 
It's hard to find these uh, in good condition and in EF9, Southern yeah. California, you know? Yeah, I can yeah. imagine. No, it's a, a genuine EF9. Um, uh, yeah. It's mm. packed up for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a fun car. So cool. Have you driven this track with this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Drive this track. This is, this is our one and only track really here in Ireland. So. This sees a lot of time here. That's as much time cool. here as, as it does on the road. Yeah. And there's a couple different configurations here. Too, yeah, right? yeah, they can mix it up. There's a national, there's an international. You can mix it up a couple different And then ways. they can make it as long as they, like, yeah, it, it could be one long. Yeah, too. the longest one I think is uh, 2.4 miles. It's good track. It's good. Oh, that's yeah. long. Yeah. yeah that's if a, I remember right, it's pretty That's good. a long lap. It goes, it goes off. And, oh, oh, yeah, it's fun. That's cool. Yeah. Check it out. We got a Mirage here with an interesting mod. The front end seems like it's off of an Evo 3. And it fits pretty good. Or maybe 4. Can't really tell. It's pretty good. Interesting. Huh. So the cool thing about this is you can actually see what it supposed to look like. This is the stock front end. And then Wow. It's kind of interesting how similar it is, but you can kind of see where they actually were able to put the fender onto this or graft it onto here. All right, so what were you saying? This this never was available in the U.S. Never. That, this car has been. Well, you've heard of Cosworths, so like they had the Sierra Cosworth, and you used to get that in Cosworth form. You didn't actually ever get the Sierra Cosworth, and that in, in this particular trim, the five door in the U.S. Right. You might have got the three door, the RS five hundred, maybe for I'm a Hummer, I'll get it race series, yeah. but never. And it was a Mercury. In America, they're the Mercury XR four A, but they only did them in three door. Yeah. But this is a Saab. Engine? Saab turbo, yeah. Why? Because they're incredibly underrated, and they take like 500 horsepower in standard internals. Really? Yeah, this car is about 450 horsepower. This looks great. great. The fitment is. So it's all it's all in hydraulic suspension. Which is terrible to drive. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh -huh. um, when I done it at the start, I was like, yeah, yeah, I've got this car, it's really low. And then when you're driving to shows, you're just like, with the horsepower and the, the way it drives, it's like, that's difficult. But it looks so good. Though. It looks okay for shows, which is the main thing, right? It's so I mean, cool. Form of a function, I guess. I love it. I appreciate it, man. So cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. What a cool car. I love it. The fitment is great. Yeah, I wanted to try and run like a kind of a, a race car fitment, so rather than like, um, you know, stretch tires, I kind of wanted like fat wheels and a, a wee bit of camber, just to, so, because I'm done with stretch tires and all that stuff, I used to do that. Yeah. So the whole idea was race car fitment. I think I've got it. I think so. It looks so good. The interior is pretty neat too. Yeah, it's uh, Evo 7. Oh, what? Can I, can I open it? Yeah, of course. Just, um, it's not the work of progress inside. Evo 7? Yes. And you have a hydro? Yes. For what? For big skids. Oh, uh, big, very big skids. I don't have a tongue, but at least it's there. <laughs> this is so cool. What a neat car. How's it so fast? It's tuned up a little bit. Wait, but like, it's, just, it's, a big, it's a big pump. So then is it just like, like saved pressure in there? Yeah. Is that why pressure. you're able to? Yeah, so it's just constant pressure and then whenever you click the switch, it opens up the oil line, it just runs to the ram and phew, straight up. So why don't you want just regular coil holders? Because I like, uh, roads in Ireland are terrible. You may have seen this but here, roads in Ireland are so bad. The idea was that whenever I come to like a bad road, I could raise it up and I kind of know my way around hydraulics because I had them when I was younger and I was able to make the kit very cheaply. 
truth be told, if I was to do it right, it probably would have went air raid. But the previous wheels I used to run before I went uh, with the race car style fitment, if I had run bags, the wheel was so wide it would have hit the bag on the inside and it would have wore through bags and even coilover springs, it would have wore through them. So at the time, the hydraulics was the best option. Now I could run air or coilovers. I was actually chatting to the guys at BC's yesterday about talking to me and making a custom set. So maybe I'll, I would like to go coilovers and just go for like ultra low stance kind of style, but right. still usable. I've just never seen this kind of setup on like like this type of car. You know, I obviously. I do see them in low riders. Yeah, and low kind of riders, stuff. very common. Yes. Right? But for it to look like this, I mean, it, it, it just the purpose is so interesting. It's just it's just another way of, like, you don't, you can't really get an off the shelf air kit. Now, you can make Mark V Golf air fit the front and you can modify the shocks at the rear to to work with it as well, but it is still very much custom setup. So unless you're willing to spend a lot of money, which I'm not because I'm really miserable with money, um, you have to do a lot of thinking and a lot of fabricating and a lot of looking up stuff online to figure out how's this going to work and how's that going to work. And the hydraulics, I just knew what would work and what wouldn't because I had previous experience with it. So I just went, hey, cheaper lows and a good set of coilovers. But yeah, that's so cool. It's just as they say, it's not really ideal for the power I've got going, but I the show it looks great so for now I just have to drive slow and yeah. hope in the rain it's not going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> These uh, Pajero Evos are getting more and more popular especially as they're going to be legal to import in the US pretty soon but this one is so cool. I've actually never seen a red one like this without a livery so this is uh it's a it seems like it's a pretty good um it's a pretty good uh example of one it seems like it's very very clean the paint is incredible love it oh and this one's manual so i've seen a lot of these that are actually automatic this one's great what is uh, a common misconception is that a lot of people think these are turbo but they're not they're actually na v6 but they're still really cool twin red pulsar gtirs this is really cool i love these these are kind of like a little bit unloved for whatever reason i don't know why but they're sr powered all-wheel drive they're cool cars it's kind of like a hot hatch all-wheel drive i think they look great it's cool to see two good examples of them here you know, you know. Here's another car that I've never actually seen before. Starlink Lanza. No idea what this is. What a cute little baby turbo. This is so cool. This is tiny. Huh. That is a neat car. And of course, it's uh, parked next to this Micra. This is really cool. Micra? Oh, no. Oh, it's a March. Okay. So this is a K11 March. Huh. Huh. Look at that little keyhole. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to support us directly, go to LarryChenPrints.com. I print and sign every single one of these. This is the perfect gift or it's the perfect piece of art for your wall.